Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today's gonna be the first installment of my collective haul for August, and I have a bunch of fun things to show you in this first section, so let's jump right into it. I think I will start with the Crafty Banana. This is a super fun kit. This is the Mermaid Collection, and I have a bunch of stuff in here that I wanna show you. And I think I have my new freebie in here, which I definitely want to show you. Yeah, there it is right there. I probably have the other girls too. Let's see. Okay. So, oh, she sent me a Starbucks gift card. She's the sweetest. Okay. So, yes, I have everybody's freebie. Let's look through these first. So, here is my new and current summer freebie. It's so cute. I always do a theme. I can't say always, but I have always done a theme. And um, this theme was quarantine summer. And I just picked some things that reminded me of this summer. So definitely some things that represent being outside. We've got some candles, pie because and kept cupcakes because I don't know about you guys, but it was all about the desserts and too many desserts. And then, of course, planning. And you've got some books here for reading. I did a lot of reading. And then we've got some friends references here, too, because I have been watching a lot of friends. So this is my current freebie, and I love it. It's so, so cute. And then I'll show you the other girls. So this is Kirst Kristen's from Kristen's Planner. And hers is kind of cool because it has like red accents, which I thought was interesting. And she lives on the beach. So I think this is very Kristen. It's super cute. And then this one is from Rochelle. She's Planned Princess here on YouTube and Instagram. And hers is really cute too. I like the sun lotion and the cooking. Oh, I could definitely use that one. And she usually does a crown for since she is Planned Princess. But these are super cute. I love the color of that um, candle. And I, I think I want to put that on my next spray because it's super cute. So those are the other... PR girls for the crafty banana and then of course we have mine she always sends me a bunch which I love all right by the way I will put my code on the screen for you for 10% off and my freebie okay so this is the salty beach collection so Brianna always does seasonal candles which I just adore and these are so fun to mark like home projects or just cleaning or relaxing evenings anything really and these are so cute I have the ones from last year but I didn't have the minis and then I used up quite a bit of them so I'm glad to have a fresh sheet of these the colors are so cute and I love them okay and then this is the star of the show here the collection this is brand new called the mermaid collection it's adorable so it's very loosely based on the little mermaid so I'm not like a Disney or princess person but I thought that this one is super cute so we have Ariel here and I'm gonna just go out and say it's all of her sisters I think but I just think this is really different and cute and I think it will be a fun memory spread um, kit. I just think it's beautiful and the scene's so pretty. So I love this box here. Salty but sweet. Cute. So this is the scene kit. It does come in a non-scene kit which is kit two if you just want the full boxes and you want bottom washi but I thought this was just really fun. I always like to try out the scenes. And we've got full box or a full box checklist here. This is the full kit. And then we've got some deco, which does have little hints of the Little Mermaid with the fork and the little fish and the crab. And these Starbucks cups are just so beautiful. I love the scales in the background on these boxes too. Got that page, more functional things. Ooh, that's so pretty. I love it. And the weekend banner is beautiful. The colors in this are so fun. And then I added on to the kit the glitter sampler just so I they were, these were kind of unique colors I definitely want to use that color and this one so I wanted to get the glitter sampler and then I added on the square boxes just because I think these are really a cool shape and just kind of different and then this is the freebie that comes with the kit which is themed to the kit and it is adorable I love these two oh, I just love all of it it's so so cute 
I will be using this kit soon, but you probably won't see the plan with me for a couple more weeks. But this is the mermaid collection from the Crafty Banana. All right, next up, let's go to Scribble Prints Co. So this kit I am just like obsessed with. One of my favorite movies ever, not just Halloween movies, is Practical Magic. I love the book. I love the movie. It's just such a beautiful story. And the movie especially just, I have such good memories. I watch it every October and it's just so good. So this kit is themed on that. But before we get into that, um, let's look at extras that were put into my order. So we have this gold sheet of skulls. And then this is Kristen. No, it's Kirsten's freebie. We've got Kristen over there. We got Kirsten up here. So this is gold foiled. And then we've got um, this journaling card. And then this rack was thrown in. So this looks like the, um, the Father's Day kit. So there's four pages here. I think that I will go ahead and save like this box and this one. I think because I, I'm pretty sure I could reuse them. The others, I'll probably just de-stash. And then we've got these, and then this one, and that one. Okay, and then let's get into the kit because it is so cute. I love the art. It's by Kitness Jess, who I love. Everything she does is great. This is the mini kit. I usually go for the mini kit unless... I'm just gonna feel like splurging. Here is the current freebie, which is black. It's not foiled, it's just black, which I think is really cool because this is very um, like universal. And then this kit is called Fall in Love. I just love this so much. Every time I watch Practical Magic, it just gives me like really just good feelings and I love it. The deco is so cute. The colors are really like fallish too, which I really like. I will be using this in October. Not Halloween week, but definitely in October. So cute. Oh. And then I added on the extra boxes and the glitter headers to the kit. Um, I would love for this just to be a sheet in the kit. That would be awesome. But you can always add them on. So that is the Fall in Love kit from Scribble Prints Co. And then let's go to um, Life's Planner Action. These are fun. I already looked at them because I could not help but peek. These are my two Christmas um, journals. So here is the card that came in my order. She always put the, puts the sizes and things on the back, which I think is really cool. So these two were part of her Christmas sale and I'm just really drawn to these so, so much. Um, I used a Christmas planner last year and I really liked it, but I got it a little bit late and I didn't get to use it to its full ex extent. And I think these two are going to work really well together. So this is the Christmas planner. It comes in different sizes. I got the half sheet TN size because I just love this size. I can throw it in my bag and my suitcase when I travel to visit family, hopefully. And um, it's just a really, really good size. I think it's really cute, but it does come in bigger sizes if that's what you're looking for. And she does like coiled versions of these too. Okay, the paper quality is just incredible and the print quality is amazing. Her She's just amazing. Okay, so here's the Christmas planner. It's so adorable. I love it. Okay, so first she has this section for Black Friday and you have a place for the store, the item and the price and then places to put the items and any promo codes. That's really cool. And then just a little journaling. There's lots of spaces for journaling in here. And then we've got Cyber Monday, which is the same setup as the last one, but just Cyber Monday. And then we've got Christmas card action plan. I don't send out cards, but if you did, this would be super helpful because you have all the address space and then you can check if they're received or not. So you have a couple pages of that. And then we've got deck the halls. This is so helpful for me. I get a little overwhelmed at first with all of my holiday decorations, but I think this is gonna help a lot. You have an inside section, a tree section, an outside section, and to buy. 
And then we get into Christmas shopping. So here is the Christmas shopping little um, setup. And there's varied sizes and things. So you've got these five, six, seven, eight. No, yeah, eight spaces, but this one's like extra large. And then you have some little journaling sections here. And then you've got Christmas list, Christmas gift list ideas, which I think is so cool. So you can put the person's name in there. And then what you're going to get them, sizes, budget. I like this. This is cute. Naughty or nice. It's just adorable stocking stuffers. And then you've got a big section here. These would be good for like um, people that you give just like one little gift to, like maybe at work or something. And then that repeats over here. And then you've got some more of those smaller boxes for specific people. Then at the very back, you have a little um, calendar, and then don't forget festivities, goals, and memories, and a note section. And then same thing for December. And then this part is just strictly for documenting and journaling. You could add some pictures. I think this is so cute. Especially if you got this in the larger size, if you wanted a memory keeper, you could get this in like the Happy Planner Classic size and it would be plenty of space for you to do all of that stuff. I just think that is adorable. And then this one I thought was really cool. So we have some family recipes and we are always losing them or having to look them up on, online and like remember what they are. And so I want to keep them all in one space. So this little book is going to be specifically for... Um, Thanksgiving and Christmas recipes or just family recipes in general. So each page is the same. It says good eats. I love how graphic this is. It looks so cute. So you've got good eats, prep time, cook time, rating. You've got title, serves, recipe type. So you could just check that. Directions and ingredients. So this is just enough space and it's perfect for me. I don't write out a lot of specifics on recipes, especially if I've made them over and over again. But this is just so cute. And there's plenty of space in here too, so I can add to it. And again, super portable. I can just throw these in my bag and bring them with me to go and visit family. I just think these are adorable. So again, these are from Lights Planner Action. Okay, then we've got Sadie's stickers. This kit is called Autumn Leaves. And it's got like kind of a leopard thing, which I think is really fun. Here's my current freebie in gold. So here's the first page. It has, this is so fun. And then like the paint strokes. I think that's so cute. It has this box here in the middle. This is autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. Really cute. And then we've got a bunch of functional things here. This is the redesigned kit format which is excellent. I love that you have a full box checklist here. You've got some foiled habit trackers. That was something that was missing in the old version. I love that. And then she put some little details, some different things in some of the boxes. I think it's so cute. And then this page has also been kind of redesigned. There's more little layering bits here. Ooh, that's cute. I like that. So pretty. This has rose gold foil, by the way. And then you've got the bottom washi, which is gorgeous. And you've got day covers and some labels and just some little um, kind of space fillers over there. This is so pretty. So once again, that is autumn leaves. I will leave my code on the screen and in the description for you for Sadie's stickers. That is gorgeous. Okay. Then we've got Caress Press. This kit is called Here for Fall. It's a mini kit. It's super cute. Her mini kit format is really, really good. It may be like the best out there because it kind of contains everything you need in one kit. You don't even have to add anything on. So here is the freebie. I don't like that um, quote, but okay. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Here for fall. Super cute. So you have glitter headers built into the kit, which I think is really nice. I love the length and of her checklist. I just think they're really cool and they're really easy to cut down because there's space in between the checklist. Got a little bit of deco, which is cute. These are the full boxes. I thought this, like the color scheme of this was a little bit different and unexpected, even though it's like super fall colors. 
it's just a little bit different from everything else that I'm seeing out there right now. So that's why I grabbed this kit. So cute. I don't know exactly when I'm going to use it. Probably in September, but maybe November. We'll see. Bottom washi extra full box. So cute. You have the date covers and numbers built in. So like her kit format is just great. It's five pages and it just has everything you could possibly need. It's so cute. Adorable. Okay. So that was here for fall from Caress Press. And then let's go to Made with Southern Love. So I requested that she make some blue apron stickers because she had made HelloFresh and she did. So I got a couple sheets of them. They're so cute. All right, here's the little freebie right there. Her script stickers are so cute. And she has a black owned shop, so definitely go and support her. She has tons of stuff in her shop too, like not just scripts, she has tons of stuff. So here are the blue apron stickers. I love that there's variety too. I think they're just adorable. So I got two of those. Got grocery run, which is cute. I love the way the O is. I think that's just adorable. And then we got it's okay not to be okay. And then book, coffee, sweater, repeat. I thought these would be good for fall and winter. So it was kind of a small order, but I just love her shop and her scripts. They are great. And then last thing for this section of the haul is from Villa Beautiful. So I have ordered from her once before, and then I saw this collection posted, but I didn't set an alarm or anything. So I was a little bit late. I probably would have bought the whole collection. So maybe it was a blessing that I forgot. There were only two left to order. I do love these though. These definitely would have been ones that I would have picked anyway. So this one here, so this is like a very neutral, pretty collection. This one's called Monstera. This was part of the, um, it was a limited edition line. I don't remember what it was called but it's beautiful. Okay, so this pen has this gorgeous like mossy green color and then black crystals on the inside and black hardware. Like how cool is that? So pretty. I really love this one. This might be my favorite overall. And then this one's gorgeous too. This is called Noir and it's all black, like everything black. It's just so pretty. Very classic and like could go with pretty much anything. And I love the way these pens write. So I'm kind of obsessed with Villa Beautiful pens and I'm trying to like keep it to a minimum because you can only use so many pens at once, but these are gorgeous and I'm glad to add them to my collection and I'm going to put them in my pen cup for right now. All right, that is all for this section of the haul. I will be back in a minute to show you some more. So for the next part of the haul, I have several shops here and let's just dig right into it. So let's start with the Crafty Banana because these are so cute and I want to get them out of this um, stack so that I can use them next week because they're so cute. So she came out with a new style of coffee cups. Here's the little freebie, which is really cute. Laundry's done. <laughs> and I got, oh, she threw in another one. Okay. I did not ask for three, but she's so sweet. Um, I don't think I did, but maybe I did. I don't know. So we've got the mermaid coffee cups, which are beautiful. And then we've got the iced coffee cups. These are amazing. I think they're so cute with the little green straw. I just love these. They're just really versatile. I like to mark meetings with these or errands, any kind of task that requires a little oomph. And these are just so cute. Um, the next one she's coming out with are the fall ones, which are my favorites. So definitely follow me on Instagram. I always post in my stories and definitely follow the Crafty Banana as well because she posted posts when she's coming out with new cups all the time. Okay. Next up is Lemon and Honey Studio. I saw this kit and it was so different. And I actually wrote her a note in my last order and just told her like, your fall kits are just like killing it because they're just so different. So also Pam is the sweetest and she just 
always has a kind thing to say. So here is, this is called pumpkin season and I got the main kit one with the full boxes and the washi. So here is the first page. I thought the colors were super fun. And then here are the boxes and different kind of kinds of functional things on this page. You do get an extra box there as well. And then the full boxes, I mean, they always, I'm always sold on full boxes. Like how fun is this? I'm going to use this kind of um, in the 1st of September, I think. I just think it's so cute and different. And then here are the glitter headers. It's just really, really cute and I'm excited. These colors are just, I don't know. I haven't seen this combo from anybody but Pam. These are just so cute. I'm really excited to use this kit. Um, here is the freebie that came along with the order. Lots of cute deco. And then we've got this August freebie, which has a bunch of stuff on it, which is really cute. I love this one by all the school supplies, which I actually have not bought much because we're pretty much paperless at my school for this year. And then this is cute too. If we go to distance learning, I could definitely use that. All right. So here is the pumpkin season kit from Lemon and Honey Studio. All right, next is from Scribble Prince Co. I do not subscribe to her mystery kit anymore. It's just very hit or miss for me, but this one was a hit. So I posted on Instagram for um, someone to please, please sell it to me. And someone reached out and said, I have, I'll give you everything but the wiggle. And I said, that's exactly what I want because I don't use the wiggles like to their fullest extent. And I love this kit. Here's the journaling card, which I just love. It's so cool. There's um, that. You can also get it on the buy, sell, trade group. If you just post in there on the buy, sell, trade, or the the buy um, post, but Instagram's usually quicker. So he, this kit, let me just show you the full boxes because this is the real reason that I got it. And the colors, I think they're so fun. I'm actually going to use this next week from when I'm filming this right here. So you'll have already seen this probably before this haul goes up. It's so cute. I have talked about tiny houses before and I am dipping into van videos now as well. I don't think I could ever do that full time, but I admire people who do and I think it's so cool. And I mean, I never say never. I just think it's just a cool lifestyle to have and this kit is just so cute and it embodies that lifestyle. How adorable. I just love it. The little map. <laughs> the colors are also like kind of um, definitely fallish but end of summer into fall kind of a situation here. There's the extra boxes. So there's a tall one here which I won't use that. I think I'm just going to use the ones from the kit. I really like her and I like the one holding the map. So I think that that's what I'm going to do is just use these. And then there is this extra strip, which I don't think I'll use, but maybe let me look at the, the washi. Mm, no, I'll just leave the washi as is. I think that's really pretty. And then we've got the glitter headers and the extra boxes. So there's so, so much in this kit. I always got the mini when I was subscribing. So this is just like a lot of a kit, but it will be fun to use. And I just had to have this. So I'm very, very grateful for that person who reached out on Instagram for me. Okay, here is an order from Blue Scooter Press. And these, I love these. I requested, I think along with a lot of other people, um, some Moxie Life planner stickers because she does like other planner companies. So why not Moxie Life? So she did. Um, here's the little freebie with the kit that flat lays super cute. So I got these. I can't remember how many were on here, but this is enough to get me through the rest of the year, which is what I needed. Um, it did have the yellow version as well, which I'm kind of kicking myself. I feel like I should have picked the yellow one, but I like the blue one as well. And then these I thought were so cute. I don't know what I will use these for, but I think they're adorable. These are all like, this reminds me of my childhood, like all of these books I think I read. Except for this one. I never read Alice in Wonderland, but um, all the rest of these I read as a little girl. And even I've read more than once. So 
I thought these were super, super cute. And um, yeah, I'm just excited to have these because I always like to mark my weekly actions and working on my goals and stuff. And I think these will be perfect for that. Okay, next is Shop Jessica Hearts. This is a, such a pretty kit. So I wrote a note in my order that I would like to try out her mat. And I just asked for like a scrap of paper, like just like a corner of a page or whatever. And she actually sent me something that I thought was really cool. Here's the journaling card that came with the order. By the way, I love her new envelopes. Those are beautiful. All right. So this is called Summer in the City. So this is the freebie that came with the kit. I think maybe it matches. Maybe. I'm not sure. I, maybe not. Um, but it is very pretty. And then this is the, the map that she, she didn't have to send me this, but I thought it was really cool that she sent me this. Her mat is very nice. I think I will stick with the glossy, but the print quality is very good and I do like it. So maybe I'll order something and just try a full kit before I make like an absolute decision. But I have a bunch of these um, that I bought when she was having this fundraiser and I've been kind of trying to incorporate them in spreads because I really like them. Okay, here is the kit. This is a mini. So it's called Saturday in the City. And it's just a really pretty fall kit. She does photography kits really well. And this is just really beautiful. So it's a four page kit. And then I added on an ultimate sheet. That is gorgeous. So pretty. So this is what I added on so I could have some extra boxes and some checklists and glitter headers. So that is Saturday in the City from Shop Jessica Hearts. And then next up is Lexi Kylie Designs. This kit is so cute. Again, very different from other kits that I'm seeing out there. I think this is just a journaling card. Yes, I'm pretty sure I got all my receipts out. Okay, so here is the, oh, I added this on. We'll look at that in a second. So here is the card that came with this with gold foil. It's cute. And I got the apple picking kit. I think this is so pretty. So um, let's just start with the full boxes. So here are the full boxes right there. So pretty. Get some boxes at the bottom. Ooh, that's cute. So I got two of the functional pages, just like I did last time with Soundtrack. And it gives me enough boxes for the week. I just have to remember to use like this page on the left side of the spread and this one on the right so that I don't use boxes next to each other. But I just think this is so pretty. The colors are very different. So we've got black, red, this pretty blue color, and then this like um, creamy color. And the bottom washi is so pretty. It's like a blackish green plaid. It's so cute. Get some date covers. And then I added on the icons just to um, try out because with the soundtrack kit, I was kind of missing a couple of things. So I added this on just to see if I like it. So that is the apple picking kit from Lexi Kyla Designs. And then last for this section is from Summer Wild Summer Designs. Um, I got two kits here and they are really cute. I hadn't ordered from her in a while and I just decided to check out her shop and see what I liked. And here we are. So there is the June July freebie. And then here are the two kits that I got. I ordered the full kits because she does like crazy sales and I was able to get these pretty cheap. I think maybe like eight or nine dollars for this full kit. This one's called Lake Life and this is going to be one of my August spreads in my memory planner. I do love going to the lake. It's just kind of fun and I don't know anyone with a lake house like that, but I'll do like day trips. That's cute. Um, the colors in this are really fun too. They're definitely like summerish tons of boxes in this kit. Here is the bottom washi and some more boxes up top. And then this sheet has two sets of date covers and numbers. You get tons of stuff in this kit. So you could definitely use this over two weeks. And then this last page has some squared off boxes, work labels, some deco that's super cute. And I love that when um, these little things are included because I use them when they're there. So this is the Lake Life Kit 
And then let's look at this one, which is called Cozy Autumn. I love the color scheme of this one. I think that's a theme for this section of the haul. I am definitely drawn to different color schemes from the norm. So I just thought this was a cool fall kit. It's very like pastel with pops of the black. It's just really pretty. I like it. It's very soft. Same format as the last one. That's cute. I really like that purple, like it's like a mauvey purple color. Now this one, interesting. Okay, so maybe she changed her format for the fall kits, but we have one set of date covers and then a bunch of icons and the three heart checklist here. So this must be an updated format, which I like. I like the changes on that. And then this last page has some deco, same as the the other kit we looked at. Really cute. So that is Cozy Autumn. Um, I think this one is still available, but I'm not sure about this one. All right, so that is everything for this section of the haul. I'll be back in a minute to show you some more. This is the last section of the haul, and I have four shops here. This one I want to start with because this is very, very exciting and adorable. So Emily from Sweet Fox Papery contacted me after I shared her shop um, in the last vlog, or not vlog, last haul, and she um, asked me which kit she wanted, or I wanted her to send me, and I picked this beautiful kit, which I'll show you in a minute, and then she threw in all of this extra stuff. So I'm going to show it to you in its entirety. So here is the little card. She wrote me a really, really sweet note over here, by the way. There is a 15% off code for Sweet Fox Papery Tattoo Teacher Plans. You can use that whenever you would like. She is so nice. She's a teacher as well, which I super admire. She's an elementary school teacher too, which I could never, ever, ever do that. I, I'm just so, so impressed with that. I just, I can't do little kids. But um, I'm really excited to share this with you. So let's go through these. These are little like mini kits. So this one is called Worry Less, I think. Yeah. These are so cute. Okay, so this has four pages in it. These would be adorable in like um, a B6 planner, that little Lights Planner Action one, or a like um, print pression one. This is adorable. So we have three full boxes here and a weekly tracker. And then we've got some checklists, lots of checklists. Those are beautiful with the watercolor in the background. Some habit trackers. I really love her paper. She said it is not vinyl. It's just a very, very good premium mat. And it's just, I love it a lot. So here's some boxes and some labels. And then this last page has some beautiful deco and these little cute strips, little weekend banner, and some little script stickers there. So that is the Worry Less kit. Super cute. And then we've got the Blooming Blues. So here we go. Ooh, this is pretty like spring. Ooh, I love it. I'm so ready for summer to be over. This is gorgeous right here. I love the mix of the different fonts. This is the same format as the last one. So I'll just go through. I like the Sparks Joy. That's cute. Adorable. I love her florals. They're just very, very soft. So cute. And then we've got Tulip Garden. These are really pretty. I love tulips. They're so like modern and cool looking. All right, so this one has like a purple and green theme. Really pretty. This would be gorgeous in April. All right, so those are the little mini kits and then let's get into the larger kits. So this one is called Serendipity. This is the one that I picked. I really love how her um, her cellophane bags open. It's just very interesting to me, and it's easier to get them in and out. Okay, this is so, so pretty and perfect for fall. So here are the full boxes. Oh, so many boxes. I love this. And a lot of variety. Cute little weekend banner. Her kits are very unique. I like all of these little hearts too. You could um, do little checklists with those. 
And then here is the last page with the deco and this bottom washi is so pretty and again just very unique patterns and colors and clip art. I really like this. And then here are the date covers. How cool are those? Kind of like art deco-ish. So pretty. I think I'm going to have to use this in my memory planner because it just needs to be like showcased. So pretty. All right. And then these are fun too. So this one is called Navy Sunflowers. So here's the date covers. I love sunflowers so much. They're just so bright and cheery. Here are the full boxes. Lots of boxes. Her weekend banners are different in every single kit. I think that's really interesting. And this kit, it does have deco. What is this? What does this one look like? Do you get decorative headers? Yeah. Okay, so these are all like decorative headers. I think that's so cool that that's like built into the kit. And then here's the last page. So pretty. And then this last one, which I had my eye on, is called Berry Christmas. I think this is adorable. So here's the date covers. Really unique and cute. And then this little bear. I don't know what it is about his little face, but he's just like so cute. I really like that box too. Same format as the other ones. Like how cute is that? Love it. Lots of deco. You can just do a lot of it with this kit. She leaves room for like you to make it your own, but I love like the base of the kit. And y'all know mini kits are my jam, so I'm all about the format of this kit. So that is all from Sweet Fox Papery. Definitely check out her shop and use that code to save 15%. Thank you so much, Emily. All right, next up is Shop Jessica Hearts. So we've got this little card, and then this is what I got. So you know that I love the monthlies. <laughs> I added on a couple of things to get up to I think it was $15 so I could use a coupon that I had built up in my rewards. Here is the little freebie that came with the order. And then I added on these little fall laptops. I think they're really cute. They're on clear paper. And I think they're just really cute for fall. And then this is the kit that I got. It's called Magic and Mischief. It's just really cute. And I like the colors a lot. It's not like overly Halloween-ish. It's just very like fun and not like terribly spooky. I did spooky last year so I kind of wanted to mix it up this year. I love that. It's so cute. And then there's the last page. Adorable. So that is the mischief and no magic and mischief kit from Shop Jessica Hearts, which is the October monthly. She had another option too, but I don't remember what it was now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, here is a $2 Tuesday order from Sadie's Stickers. So what happened was that uh, I forgot to fulfill my order or finish my order, I should say. And my stuff was left in my cart and I just clicked like days later after she'd already taken down the $2 Tuesday. Like it was still in there. Usually it like disappears and I just clicked buy and it went through and she messaged me and was like, how'd you do that? And I just said like, I just clicked buy. <laughs> and so she sent me a couple of extra things because I totally forgot to fill my cart. And um, so when $2 Tuesday goes up, I'm in school and then I'm like mean to get back on in the evenings but I just forgot. Okay, here's my freebie. Again, y'all have seen that a million times. This is the um, one of the little samplers, and I got it um, gold foil on white. I just think this is really cute. And then I got this um, quote page, and then she threw in all of them basically in all the um, colors. Ooh, that hollow. I love hollow. I don't use it very often, but I just think it's so cool. I really love this boo y'all 
box. That's so cute. And then this was the other one, and I added this to my cart as well. And then she threw in the other foils. So it's nice to have all of them. Trick or treat yourself. I love that. So cute. So thank you, Alicia, for actually sending me my order, even though I was super late. <laughs> and then the last thing for this haul is from Nikki Plus 3. And I have my September monthly in here. I waited a little bit too long. Well, not too long. I'm going to be using this next week um, to buy my September monthly because nothing was really speaking to me. So um, this one I saw and I thought it was really beautiful. And I love the florals. So she's used these florals before and I just am really digging them. So here is the freebie here, little silver icons and then this all goes with the kit itself so we've got the days of the week plus a bunch of little script stickers that match with it which i think is really cute you got the holidays as well then we have this page with the numbers and like colored icons which is really cute and then this covers the days that are not in the month has gold foil and then here is the actual kit so we've got all of the covers that go across the top, tons of boxes with like this really pretty foiling on it. I just think that's gorgeous. And then this page has um, the other cover, plus I think these are vacation strips, pretty sure. Oh, little flags, okay. Did not know that. Put that back. There we go. And that's it, so I just love this. It's really pretty and bright, so it's not, it's like kind of dipping its toe into fall with the yellow and the oranges, but it's still kind of like, you know, warm nights is what it reminded me of. Anyway, okay, probably reading too much into that. I also stocked up on some cleaning checklists because I am out of some colors that I needed for this season. So I got the bright one. I use these more than I thought. And then I've got the cornflower. I love the navy and these blues will go really well with fall kits. This one especially is going to be great for fall. It's called Harvest. And then we've got Spellbound. Cute. And then Candy Corn. So I should be set for all of fall, if not more, and getting into winter. So um, I love these checklists. I use one every single week, and y'all are always asking me where I get these from. And they're from Nikki Plus 3. So that's everything for this haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed going through all this stuff with me because I always do. And if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye!